majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Training. Your first mission originally took place in Sydney, Australia. The target was Calvin Ritter, also known as the Sparrow. Master thief for hire, specializing in rare and priceless art. Our agent cleverly infiltrated Ritter's private yacht during a social gathering and discreetly eliminated him without any of the guests noticing. Now you will do the same. Oh, and don't worry about the training operatives. All weapons are simulated. Good luck, Initiate. Put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, initiate. Oh, ride like this. Everyone provided for. Good. Hey, big guy, get cracked. When Mr. Norfolk arrives, get some drink and have a For sure, Mr. I'll keep it up. That is your target, Calvin Ritter. That's cold today, huh? Whoa, hold it. No mechanics allowed here. Sorry. Step back, please. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. Back already? Sign, Buddy, making You're us look bad. Feet, the Chew your food oil. Well. I see. <laughs> well done, Initiate. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to agree, honey. Isn't it? Anyway, you told me this Norfolk job will be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm? What gives, Kelvin? I didn't lie, Callista. Look, you don't have to retire just because you leave the field. Most great players simply become managers. 
you're recruiting. Mm, now you're catching on. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No. Uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that room. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Well, I was hoping Giles would... To the future. We are going to be invincible, Maureen. This merger couldn't come at a more opportune time. The world's biggest video rental chain and its largest music retailer together in Only minor property damage. No sailors, please. Don't make any trouble. Just leave. My youngest, Silvio. Well, back to the computer. Movies on the internet. Right. Wow. So, top of the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. Fifty years ahead of its time. Maybe even more. Maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but... Whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now what's that pa password always slips my mind. Wait, was it glass? Your target is down. Now head towards an exit. Look at all those stupid snobs. <laughs> How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, it could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... <sighs> Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching.
I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Soda's wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, factor me into the equation. If Soda's can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. Did you print out the safety protocol for the jets? Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do we really have to do this, all things considered? We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kinda think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Okay, she's refueled and ready for takeoff. Good work. Are we clear to go over the safety protocol? Yeah, go ahead. I disabled the ejector seat mechanism. Good man. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Jasper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Uh, Follow me, please. Thanks. Don't get too close. Thank you, but I'm not interested. Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Uh, okay. All strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, just a moment. Uh, yes, found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Right. Here it goes. Pull. Oh my god, did that just happen? That shit was definitely not part of the plan. How's the mechanic today? Man, we've got a casualty. I can see the car. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. 
I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name, nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Mogolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season, and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. And with newly appointed head designer Sebastian Zato at the helm, the night nice show should prove no exception. Zato, who has been hailed as one of the coldest young designers. 
Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. A pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's right. If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? I know I look fine, but he's like a, like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago used his fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine, I'll I'll be up after the show. Yes, ciao. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself. We could be twins, bro. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. Call yourself a bartender. Going on. Work 47. Time to find Dahlia Margolis. You've been in an accident. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some help, but just, just, yeah, stay there, stay there. Okay. I need help. Ah! No, I need help right now. Your Excellency, there you are. There's an article coming out. Coup d'etat in your region. I think you'll find it interesting. Anyway, if you need assistance, don't hesitate to ask. Your Excellency, lovely to see you. I hope you're being taken care of. Something's amiss here. We're one guard short. So sloppy. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite a scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. That is Francesca DeSantis. Uh, you've been in a bad accident, okay? Just, just stay still, okay? Everything's gonna be all right, okay? Help! 
Two targets down. Now destroy the virus. Don't even think about running away. There, in the sealed container, the virus prototype. You're all set, 47. Time to kill the competition. Security's in the dark about the incident. A few of the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you're mine. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. And where are you from?
Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Ah, hi there. How's your father? Doing well, thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years, if he still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to park with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. Right, <laughs> and maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwin. It might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away. Soldier. General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prison. I hear they were close, so what'd he do? Poor bastard. The way I heard it, his brother was one of the policemen who got killed when the mercs attacked Strandberg's prison transport this morning. So he, uh, he got cold feet. Tried to blow the lid on the whole operation. Uh, not smart, but uh, pretty human. I'm just glad I wasn't picked for the firing squad. I hear you. You're in. 
Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. Satan's order. Any freaking minute. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Is... Is someone in here? Hello? Zidane won't expect resistance from a tied-up prisoner. I never meant to break that. I'm sorry. That is General Reza Zaydan, Keeper of the Peace. Time to decide. What should I do? Don't tell me you're sleeping inside. Plenty of time for that, I'm sure. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. In case of an emergency, Strandberg and Zaydan will meet face to face at the center of the underground tunnel. The conspirators can summon each other over the phone using a set of keywords, one of which is locked away in Reza Zaydan's safe. is on the move, and we know exactly where he's going. Thanks for responding. We never expected something. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg.
attention. He's the one who called me. General? General Zidane? Hello? Everything's under control, sir. Hello. Have you seen the general? Uh, I trust you. Tell me when everything is ready. Compromise, but I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern, and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. How much was that? Money. <laughs> the money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. Morning 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. 
I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but has yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, uh, I, I like Top Forty. Ah, uh, anyway, De Silva's filling in for the drummer in Jordan Cross's band, who quit yesterday. The record label flew him in, and I took him up to the restaurant lounge. Oh, Miss Miss Barrett, the manager, she's gonna come get him soon. Gee, I guess I should get his autograph. You 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 don't deserve his autograph. You deserve. Poop in a bag. Yeah, that's right. Keep walking, bad. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Oh, recordings, huh? Just like the army. 10% action, 90% boredom. So, uh, the craziest thing just occurred to me. I turned 27 today. So, according to statistics, I'm likely to die within a year. <laughs> Car crash. Crazy fan media. So yeah, stand close to me at your own risk. <laughs> nah, just I'm just messing with you. Relax. True that. Anyway, back to the soul purging.
I know you? Oh, hey, you're quitting his replacement, right? Able to sell. Uh, Thanks for coming so out, eh? No, I ain't. Drums all set up, Wes. Good to go. Cool. So, what do you say, man? Get behind the kit. Show us what you made of. Some kind of machine, aren't you? Oh man, nicely done. Why don't you walk with me, Abe? There's something I want to show you. After you. Mr. De Silva? Still pissed about when leaving. You know, just don't expect her to roll out the red carpet. So just do it, do it well. You should soften up. It's fine. Where are we going? Atrium roof. Look, I want to beat you some. I don't want the others to hear. It's bad from around. Your style. It's very tight, very new way. You uh you should talk to Dexy when we get back to New York. Small agents. Very lucky. You wouldn't have heard of them. <laughs> Old buddies from school, huh? Don't have the heart to let them go? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. But believe me, man, you gotta aim higher. Anyway, so I have this project coming up. Right up your out. Going solo? Yeah, that's the plan. I could use a solid drum. A hired gun, not a partner. Someone who does the job without getting noticed. Oh. Uh, so you're interested? For anyway, she didn't say, but he's staying in the Queen Suite, so I figure it's someone important. All the more reason to deliver his letter. I will in a minute. See, managing your shitty band. <laughs> nah, Dexy Barrett doesn't waste time on amateurs, she's a kingmaker. That one only works with the best. Well, I mean, she's been with Jordan in the class since the beginning. That's different. Few upcoming artists can afford to hire a superstar manager, least of all full-time. Jordan can. He could have bought up monumental records without making a dent in his trust fund. Yeah, except he didn't. No, that's right. 
Hiring Dexy Barrett is the only privileged thing he did. He wanted to prove himself. Do it right and true. You gotta respect that. Yeah, yeah. Still wanna punch him though. Seriously? Why? Jordan's amazing. He's cool, good looking. And let's not forget, he's a kick ass artist. Yeah, you know, I think you just answered your own question. <laughs> Just delivered. Here you are, sir. Basement linen room. Call me when you get there. Dexy Barrett. Well done, 47. Morgan is on the move, and we know exactly where he is Dixie headed. Fine again. We're meeting at the linen room. Welcome to the exciting world of corporate underhand deeds. I mean, yeah, um, to say, yeah, we got a lot of roses because uh, I just remembered it's my anniversary, so uh, I need a, I need a big order of roses. Yeah, just as many. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... 
It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. I don't see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. You're sick. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. 
Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll make her day. Is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. All right, finally ready to get this show on. you all to know this by heart but in case amnesia has set in here's the sequence advance to the car with haste eliminate the passengers retrieve the briefcase extract got that and remember speed and accuracy is the name of the game all right now go pick up your weapons and get in position move out get Is Ezra Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in demand at the moment. I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. 
I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. He rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Right. It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. Not to mention how far she'll go. I think she'll order a to be that is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror analyst. Strange to see her as part of this crowd. What's up, Graves? Oh, you know, just, um, you know, wanted to make sure everything was running smoothly. So, the connection's secure? No weird signals or anything? No weird signals, no. Connectivity's a bit of a problem, but we're rerouting some things. It all looks fine. Should we be on alert? No. No, I, uh, I just like making sure. <laughs> Big ears out there, you know? You can, um, never be too careful. Sure. We're on top of it. No need to worry. Glad to hear it. If you encounter anything unusual, let me know immediately. Yeah? Sure, Graves. We'll keep you in the loop. Look for any intruders, okay? So you're all set for the sting? Sure. I've got a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol. Uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Be interesting to see how she reacts. Is she gonna ask the guys there to shoot me, or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? Well then Rose is gonna find her and kick her ass, I imagine. Explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I. Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. Okay, can you just leave me alone for a few minutes? I've got some thinking to do. I'm sure Rose won't mind. Delgado and that I look clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. No! It's all targets taken care of. Now gain access to the tornado shelter. The door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Oh, that 
Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg, Ether, and that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. So it is. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone.
Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your personal suite. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. I'm sure you have your ways, ways I do not need to know about. If you don't mind me asking, who is Eric Sobers? His resume says retired to big game hunter. Amusing. In a way, I suppose he was in his day. Mr. Sodas belonged to an organization involved in the least attacks against us, and we needed a man on the inside. So it's true. Someone is targeting Providence. Not for much longer. Speaking of threats, we may have a breach in security. My team is investigating. If we find anything, you'll be the first to know. See that I am. booked, but I just got informed that I have been bumped back in the queue. Oh, and that's that's got to be an error, right? Did you talk to the instructor? Well, uh, that's the thing. I haven't actually seen him all day. And then I asked one of the staff members, and she checked the schedule. Turns out, all appointments are booked by someone called Yuki Yamazaki. I mean, literally all of the lessons. What kind of behavior is that? I would like to give her a piece of my mind. Yamazaki? No, 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 that's, that's the Yakuza lawyer. Well, okay, whoa, whoa, you know what, maybe you should just... I know you want me to work. No, don't get mugged, Terry. 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 Hi, Mom. Hi. Hello, Mother. No, 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 everything's fine here. Just, I was just chatting with my little bro, just talking about all these video games, and all that fun stuff, these little shoot em ups are cool. Listen, I've got to run, okay? Next appointment's here. Talk to you soon, okay? I love you. Okay, yes, yes, hello. Say hi to Dad. Okay, bye. Damn it!
Miss Yamazaki, I believe you booked time for a yoga lesson? Yes. To be honest, I was beginning to wonder if you're ever going to show. Ah, the yoga guru. If you will just follow me. to make her spirit and body. I'm ready to begin. Miss Yamasaki. Very well. Let's begin. Let us begin with Upward Facing Dog when you're ready. So, the building AI known as Kai not only keeps the building running, but it also controls the surgery robot in the operating theater. That's where Sodas is at the moment. The manual states that the AI will automatically revive any flatlined patient, which could prove to be a problem. Ah, but the hospital director does have access to the mainframe. Care to run a hospital, 47? Hey, oh, what? Uh. Problem, sir. Hey, stop right there. Hey, you're ignoring me. I know you are. You can't hit Is that 
for tech support 47. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation. Not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs. Killing our operatives. And making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone. Closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some Depraved experiment. But he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. 
We... We are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Birdwood, we won a long time ago. This, this is maintenance.